Welcome back everyone. If you want to be able to draw cool stylized elephants like this little fella here, stick around to the end because I'll be showing you step by step how you can achieve this result. Now let's waste any more time and get straight to the video. Yo, welcome back everybody. I'm here again for you guys to bring you another tutorial. I hope you're doing well. Um, in this video today I'm going to teach you how to draw some elephants. I do, I do draw a few Ganesh type um, elephants with the big ears and the trunk all bent up and I just figured I might as well show you guys a few basic shapes and how to how to draw it. So let's just jump straight in and I'll show you how, how we do this today. Okay. The first one I'll start off with is a square like so. Elephants like mainly have a big skull, actually quite huge, so I'll just draw a certain line down the middle like we do with every drawing. Okay so let's just place the one eye here on the left, so just do yourself a circle. And now I'm just going to do the same again on this side here. Just another circle like so. And here is where the trunk is going to start and where it's going to end up. So for the trunk, the main trunk, I'm just going to start off with a rectangle coming out of the face like that. And here just roughly let your pencil pin some lines around. And let's just say we're just nose going straight down and make it twist. So from this rectangle, straight down, go in on itself and around. Like that. Now I've got a good, plate, a good uh, guide to the rest of the face is going to go. I'm going to take the cheekbone, angling in towards that trunk. So starting from this line here, not hit the bottom of the eye, but maybe there, three fourths, and then bring it down towards the trunk. And the same for this, this side of the face. And now we're just building up from here. Okay, so once the eyes are in place, I might give it a bit of character. So maybe add a, the eyelashes. So I'll just cut across the circle. Like that. And I'm doing the same on this side here. The same angle. And using the top half of the circle we cut, I'm gonna turn that into an eyelid. So using this bit shape, just go a little bit further out and in these two eyelids just like so. Now you might want to keep this as just the socket of the eye so I might make a smaller circle in this and use the original circle as sort of bags to go around the eye and add another line there maybe a few and place an eyebrow above just like this. For the eyebrow if you want to keep it simple you can just draw a single line across and then double it up And now we're just going to do the same on this side here and double that line up like that. Now to get the elephant shape of the head, I'm going to pull this line towards the eye as well as pulling a shape line out and to join that cheekbone like so. And then from not from this close but a bit inwards, this will come towards center, the center line just like that. And the same for this side here. Just like so. I'll just get a few folds around this trunk just to highlight it's bending inwards and then make it look like it's coming over here. So it's always tied, tied in the knot. And just draw a few lines to give it a crease. Plus, that helps give you an indication of where the trunk is turning and twisting around. And as for the, the tusks, One's gonna go on this side and one's just gonna peek from the back there. So these little these little ticks and another one here like so. Now elephant skin is really rough so don't worry too much about being perfect with the lines because a few of the lines you can actually incorporate into your final design. And also I like to add these bigger bigger lines above the eyebrows just to give a more of a shape of the skull. So once again don't be too tidy just pick the lines in roughly from now until you get to a position where you think you're happy with because you can pick out later what lines you want to keep and the ones you want to get rid of. Now here I actually feel like maybe giving it like let's try and just give it something like a top hat. If you want to add your own because obviously it's not supposed to be 100% realistic I'm not doing that style for you guys today. I'll zoom in a little bit for you. Okay, so let's just let chuck a top hat on him for whatever reason, just because it's stylized. And we're pulling the skull up and then we're not doing a flat 
because it's not that would be correct is we're angling it off to this direction here because the main central point comes straight across the face and what I mean by that is respectively that's bending backwards and that's bending to that way so when this top line it will reach that line and then slowly turn that way downwards just like so put a top hat on him here I'll just make it real simple so I'll just shoot the top hat straight up like so and I make it look like the top hat's almost bending his ear underneath so elephants obviously have quite big ears and for this you just want to pull from the top of the head and draw these big hexagon like shapes so there's one this one will obviously even pushed down by the hat so I just draw it coming down plus that adds a really cool effect like so there we have it guys it's coming together that's the bottom of the mouth here so just draw some lines once again using these shapes that initial shape pulling inwards that's where his mouth's going to be so if you're unsure yourself just draw a few loose lines in that direction and then pick which ones look good to you so I might go more like so like that he looks quite young this elephant so I might have him like um, as a kid magician like a small elephant magician and quite create a story so I'll get some cards in the hat just some little rectangles um, this is the fun bit now we can add little things to him I might actually have him holding a magic wand in his mouth and I said this before sometimes you don't you wake up you don't know what to draw and that's fine expect yourself not to know what to draw but as soon as you start drawing putting some shapes in the ideas come to you like I have no interest in magic at all but I don't know where it's come from and once you, the hat's in place then I start thinking okay it looks like a magician magic wand I could have him pulling a rabbit out of the hat that'd be cool idea so he's wearing a hat so I can't have it but I can have him holding the rabbit so just to see if it's a hand in here if you want a tutorial on hands there's loads on my channel um, that go in depth on how I'm doing it pick the bunny ears here and just draw yeah just draw like this teddy like rabbit really simple really playful and the good thing with all these little extra elements you can add you really start to tell a story with your image especially as a graffiti artist I think it's cool when you see a wall and it's like got way more character if you can imagine that animal has a personality I think you're you're onto something there that's a key point to have and then the next hand could just be dropping some cards or something just something magic related just like this I'm just roughing it in right now that's how quick you can do a hand if you watch my other tutorials on hands you'll pick them up so quick and then once you've got them down it's just second nature one two um let's make him have forearms if you, if you follow me on instagram you know that a lot of my characters have forearms um the main reason being is so i can just tell a lot more of the story with more hands holding more things um like i can add smoke one holding the cigarette which lets me open up that smoke element to hide things or cause layers which looks way more intricate there's another hand and Let's just pit another hand. Another hand here, just here. Um, another tip for you guys is sometimes I don't do the body first, I actually draw the hands first and then I link the hands to the center point and then build the body around. I just think that's um, it's a cool way when you're not too sure on how you want to place the body just to figure, figure things out. So hands first, then the body is a cool little, cool little tip. There's another hand. Um, yeah. And now for a magic outfit, I might put him in a tuxedo, like he's doing like a magic show. Uh, a quick tip for the body shape I'll give to you now is this is, head is coming like this way across the image. I'm actually going to give it more movement by bringing this sort of curved line. So the body's got way more of a sort of a movement aspect to it, so just a straight line down. And with that I can just sort of put his bow tie here bow tie, his jacket sort of blown in the wind then, it's back to the audience, um, his sleeves rolled up here, let's just sleeves rolled up going towards the body and look how loose I'm keeping all these lines right now, I'm keeping them so loose because later on I'm going to pick out what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of, it's so hard when you begin as an artist to rough up a page, a piece of paper, I know that 100% but trust me guys you want to be keeping it loose as you can, let your hand get loose, 
even sometimes back in the day, I'd do 15 minutes of actually warming up my hands, which sounds crazy. But I would just warm up so my mind and my hands are working together. Otherwise, you go into a fresh piece of paper straight on, it just feels like um, it's too cold, it's too stale, and the lines are like, you try everything perfect, and when one line's out, you start beating yourself up, like, oh, now what's wrong, and then you start adjusting, but when it's loose at the beginning, I can just put lines in and adjust as I go, and it's just a lot more fun. It's, a lot, it's just play with it, just be free with it, and just create, create as you go. Um, yeah, magician here, having a pocket here, See, if I, if I had the time, I'd put that hand a bit more and put something in the pocket, like a little frog poking out. Something funny that people notice and people can like go, oh, there's a frog there, I didn't see that. People like that sort of stuff. Um, tuxedo, that way. And tuxedo. It's actually got this shape where you can sort of cut it off with a tuxedo. Like, say if you want to make stickers, that would be a perfect cut off shape and just have him as a whole, as a sticker. Ooh. Almost lost the camera there. <laughs> All right, um, yeah guys. So that's a lot of the basic foundation and line work in place. Like always, you wanna, now once it's there and you're happy, you wanna take your pencil, sharpen it up so it gets to a point. I actually have a new pencil here. Um, and just go over all the lines you wanna keep and rub out the lines you don't. I'll tell you what I have as well, guys. I have a fiber cast out, what was it, a polychromous? This black um, is a different type of black than the pencil, so I'm going to use this one today so you can see in the video a lot better how to uh, put the black in and stuff. And um, yeah guys, I'll time lapse it and I'll talk to you towards the end. Perfect! Alright, here's a little stuff that I want to explain to you guys too. Is that I actually use bending shapes, just a little, a little trick I was just doing in the hat. This shape isn't correct anatomically, okay? And a lot of times in art, some things aren't correct. Um, it's like, it's kind of like just guiding off your eye and where you want to place things. I think learning the basic foundation of how shapes are is obviously very key. You want to learn that first. But sometimes I put in shapes that aren't, wouldn't be correct to an art teacher per se, but still work. It's hard to explain. Um, like this fold here, by the way, it doesn't, it, that's weird, it doesn't work because it's got this line coming back and through. But I add it anyway just for like the cup, <laughs> the cup, uh, the cup underneath here, I can darken it up and give it a bit of tonal. Um, and you can get away with it bro, this is what I mean. Don't listen to people that think it has to be perfect or bro, your perspective isn't 100% right. Nah, don't worry about that man, just as long as it looks right and you're enjoying the process and you're aware that you know what you're doing and you're not just blindly uh, making like, mistakes and you know it's wrong, um, I say more power to you man, and plus when you start bending shapes and sort of pulling the perspective around, um, you, you create your own art style, it looks intriguing, it looks, it draws people attention, like okay, like, I don't know how he's bent that line so crazy, but it works, it still works, um, yeah, just a little bit of a tip it there for you, hopefully, uh, yeah, you get it, just don't go mad and actually making like stupid mistakes, but yeah, anyway, I'll carry on now. Alright guys, once you've blackened all the lines you'll keep, you should have something that looks very similar to this guy here. This is actually a really cool character, I didn't expect we'd be producing something like in this way today, so I'm actually super happy with how it turns out. It's a real character, it's got real movement with the four arms, I might actually take this drawing myself, um, tidy it up and produce it, you know, produce it as a character. Um, yeah guys, so that's it, I hope you learned a lot today. Any questions, anything else you need to be answered, you just need to drop me a comment and I'll be there for you guys. As always, the Patreon team, thank you so much to all you guys. It's growing, it's starting to get bigger. Um, there's a lot of content coming for you, so I appreciate you 100. Keep creating, stay strong. 2021, we got this. Much love, take care, goodbye, peace.